Hey guys, welcome to Elemental Drones and today I have a, quite a treat for you. It's about Mavic 2 Pro. So remember to subscribe and enjoy the video. Now on to the Mavic 2 and I'll show you exactly what's wrong with it. So I plugged it in. I do have, I ordered just the uh, drone body by itself. Uh, I plugged it in, everything works fine, I get one error, and I'm guessing this is after a crash, I get the front right sensor error right here, and this little thingy, this rear leg needs to be replaced. So the plan right now is to carefully take off the top shell. Not the bottom one, because I don't need access to the antennas. So the plan right now is to remove... There are four screws right here, like one, two, three, four. Then you remove this part right here. There are two more under there. Uh, I'm not gonna touch the gimbal. The thing with the gimbal is, most people recommend, well, you remove the gimbal. Well, every time you plug something in or unplug something, uh, it's wear and tear. So just leave the gimbal protector on just so you don't damage the gimbal. Remove the screws here. Then I'm gonna remove, there are four screws under the battery over here. I'm gonna remove those. And this will give me access to the insides. I'm gonna check the front right sensor, make sure it didn't get unplugged during the crash. If it didn't, I will have to probably replace the front sensors. Uh, if it just got unplugged, I'm gonna plug it back in. And I'm going to try to remove the rear leg. I'm going to desolder it. And somewhere here, or maybe downstairs, I have a spare leg ready to go. But first I'm going to look at the condition because I think it's completely busted. So I'm just going to replace it. Uh, and I do have a extra part for it. And that should be it. So the rear leg and check out the sensors. If the sensor is plugged in, then it's probably the bad sensor. I'll have to replace the entire sensor. I'll have to order it and wait. But that's the plan for right now. So in a moment, you'll see the uh, uh, na bare naked Mavic 2. Remove the gimbal protector. And as I told you, four screws, one, two, and two more on the other side that I know of. So that's step one. Okay, so two screws I forgot about. You have to remove these two panels and you get access to one and two. And I was thinking, why can't I remove the top cover? And also two screws in the back right here. One and two. Okay, so here's the first look inside. I don't see any ribbons torn for the sensors, but I will take the sensor out next and examine it and here uh, i'll just have to and yeah i no, do know that the leg needs to be folded but first i'm gonna uh, probably unsolder it and take it out and see which part is broke before i install a new one as i'm examining these ribbons i don't see a busted ribbon anywhere so my guess is it can be either the board itself that's given the error message or it can be a, a simple fix through DJI Assistant. But since I already have it taken apart, I'll plug the ribbons back in tightly, put it back together and start on the rear leg. Uh, there are two ways people do this. Some do it by removing the sensors right here which is really like two extra steps or some go around the sensors. Right now I'm gonna try to remove the broken leg and unsolder it and remove it without removing the sensors. And I will have to remove this black part right here. It has three screws, one, two, and three. Uh, and I'll show you my replacement part in a moment. Here's the new leg already comes with that black part right here and I hear it's very difficult to take out the leg from the black part so I'm gonna 
attempt to do that right now. That's like the first step and I'll see if I'm successful. So here's an update. This is the uh, rear leg that got violently ripped out. And this is the part that broke inside. This, this part right here that's supposed to be secured in this housing, it got violently ripped out. And this is the part that I don't have. So I'm gonna have to order it now, leave the work on hold for now. And when the part comes in, replace this and then the leg just should pop right in because if you see right here this little part right here got ripped off this part is actually fine so this is what i need this part right here part i don't have so i'm just gonna have to order it right now just got this package in for the Mavic 2 Pro and I'm about to show you what's inside. It is this rear axis right here. So hopefully it's going to fit. And right now I'm going to take these two screws out, put the axis in this housing and see if it works, see if it's reinstalled back here. Okay, so the thing with this rear axis is uh, it has to go with this little metal thingy facing backwards. So I'm going to have to make sure to install that way. So give me a moment. Okay, so really easy to figure this out. You look at where this little screw is. because. The rear legs are always installed folded, so it's bottom rear. And you look at the way the right one is installed, you install this one the same way, and this little tongue thing has to go to the bottom rear. So I put in the screws, haven't tightened them yet, so right now tighten the screws, install this housing back in place, and Keep my fingers crossed that I don't screw it up, but I think for me the soldering part will be the most difficult part, so let's just pray together. Okay, I'm gonna show you the probably the simplest way to put this in, and I know some people remove the sensors. I didn't want to do this, so you sort of cradle it like this, angle it, and hopefully it should, it should, but it won't fit in there. Nope, doesn't want to go in, so let's cradle it this way. And hopefully it's just gonna fall into place. It's been, been very difficult. There we go, there we go, there we go. Well, I'm gonna need two hands for this. Okay, you definitely need two hands for this, but it's in place and you should actually push it down and then click it in place this way and you should hear a click. So it's in place. Right now I'm gonna put in the three screws back, one, two, and three. And then we'll proceed to put on the rear leg. When you put these two, uh, three screws in, uh, tip, Tighten them, but don't over tighten them because remember they are going to, into plastic and it's very easy to break the plastic if you over tighten them. Okay, and one final thing you do have to check is to make sure once the rear leg is installed, before man, hopefully, I'm not gonna break this thing. Uh, before you put in the screw right here, is that it swings out like this so it does and i'm good to go to put in the screw and start soldering okay so my soldering job is not perfect as you can see here but i think it's good enough so i think this actually should work so let's 
put this bird back together and see if it will fly. Okay, so it's always a good to a good thing to test before putting the thing back together, before putting the drone back together. So what I did is I put the cover back on and put the battery in. So right now when I start Hopefully, everything will work. Okay, aircraft connected, system air. For, well, I did still did not get rid of the forward right vision sensor error. Addy mode. Uh, let's see if the engines will start. Take off. Yep, all of them are working. So ambient light to weak system air. I wonder what that is. So probably have to calibrate the IMU, have to ca calibrate the compass, have to calibrate everything, and then have to go into, uh, as I was recommended, DJI Assistant 2, and try and calibrate the The home point has the, been updated. Uh, Please check it on the map. Try and calibrate the forward sensors. So to be continued because I'm not gonna release this video until this thing is up and flying okay the drone is airborne it's right above me and let's see if we can take some photos uh, do some exposure I don't want raw I want JPEG and let's do Image size three by two. Manual. One second exposure time. Still giving me the sensor error. I know exactly why that is. But everything seems to be working. I don't know what that... I'll have to mess with it. Oh, that's the aperture size. Oh, that is so cool. Never flew a Mavic Pro before. Adjustable aperture. Oh, I gotta love it. So let's do a photo. Oh, oh no. Oh, sweet. Now my other drones didn't do that. So let's go into photo and see how good that came out. Photo of the sunset, uh, not bad. That one inch sensor is not doing it any justice. Uh, oh, let's do a picture of the city. Because I've done pictures of the cities on my other drones and so far Evo is the best for taking photos at night. Let's see what I can do, 100 meters. Uh, let's do one second exposure. No, two seconds exposure. And let's see what will come out. Okay, let's go into photos. You know, it's actually not bad. Not bad at all.
and I don't have a card in here I don't think let's go into yeah it's all going to internal storage go a little higher maximum flight altitude reached all those efforts they said the mech I'll have to change it later and let's do this you can actually change the max altitude here I can set 500 and max distance uh, let's do 3000 oh what I can't change it in flight oh that sucks so I'll change it later but look nice let's record the short video so oh that sucks so not really gonna be a good video uh, video size oh it's probably because it's d-log I want normal and let's see if doing a 1080p will change any nope so honestly uh honestly the uh the evo so far has the best picture okay I've flown this bird. I'm satisfied. Okay, guys, the Mavic 2 Pro is safely put away. Here's the final verdict, the final thoughts of this video. I got the Mavic 2 Pro for, well, I ordered it for 350 bucks. That is an unbelievable price. I paid like $100 in customs fees, so that's 450 bucks and I paid 50 bucks for the new arm. That's 500 bucks. And that's pretty much it. I paid like 10 bucks for the access. $500 for a functioning with one air Mavic 2 Pro. I dare you to find a better deal anywhere out there. If you like this channel, if you like drones, make sure to subscribe. See you guys later.